In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Adobe Post Processor. I'm going to open up command and one thing to note is you're also going to have to navigate to your videos. So in my opinion the best way to do this would be to put either the F4 VPP application file in the folder you have all of your videos in or vice versa putting all of your videos in this Windows folder with the F4VPP app. It just it makes it much easier to use. You're going to want to type in DRI for directory and you want to see where your desktop is if it's all capitals. Um, this is case sensitive so as it's spelled is how you're going to want to type it. So I want to navigate to my desktop and then to this F4V APP folder. Um, so I'm going to type in CD space capital D E S K T O P just as it's spelled backslash F four V A P P for the folder that's on my desktop and then I need to navigate to that Windows folder inside of the F four V A P P folder. And it's all lowercase with just Windows. Press enter and as you can see over here I'm now all the way into this Windows folder which is where this application and the video is being stored. So now I'm going to type F4VPP for the application space hyphen I for input space and I'm inputting the fragmented video which is this F4V file right here. This is a Steve Weed Productions video so if you're interested and want to check it out, you can actually go to steveweedproductions.com and see this video. Now, because it's labeled wizards, I'm going to type in wizards.f4v space. And now is where you want to output it to something. So you're going to type in hyphen O for output space. And then here you can label it, um, keep the name wizards underscore um, test dot FLV and then I press enter and it says the conversion process starts and as you can see over here it's created this wizards underscore test file which is an FLV file and then you just want to let it run it'll convert this and um, once it's done converting you'll have this, this wizard underscore test FLV file which is the same as this one right here so now I'm going to open up Microsoft Expressions Encoder 4. So I'm going to import it from this F4V APP folder. And you may have to change the extension to all files to see it. And I'm going to use this new Wiz flash file because I've already, this is still being created. So I'm going to open this. And as you can see here, Expressions Encoder accepts the FLV file. You can play it and now you can also well you can use either the presets and code it for a device or for YouTube, HD or standard definition, VMore, Facebook. Um, or you can come down here and change it to an MP4, H.264 main everything else looks good just use you know the basic settings and then under directory you can change where you want the job to get output to and click encode and then it's going to convert this from an FLV file now into an mp4 file